Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always in the series about Room Database for Android. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at the Room Data Access Object Layer. Let's get started. So previously, we defined an entity, and we are going to start writing queries to manipulate this word entity or table. So first of all, let's go to our package here. And here under the DAOs, we are going to create something called Word DAO. Keep in mind that you can create it both in interface or an abstract class. I'm going to choose an interface here. So in order to inform Rue that this is Word DAO, well, you have to rename it, please, Word DAO, like that. In order to inform Rue that this is data access object, simply we have to annotate it to DAO, like that. And as you can see, it is coming from Android X. Awesome. Here you can do the basic CRUD operations, you know. First of all, you can insert thing with the annotation called insert. Keep in mind that this insert coming from here. Well, you have simply to define a function. If you want to use queries and you should do, you should you write suspendable function here. Room will generate the required thing. Now you can do suspend function like that, or you can make the function return the live data, for example. That would work. And if you are using Rx Java, you can also make the DL return observable or single or any Rx Java. Here I'm going to choose suspendable function. And here I'm going just to insert word, one word. So you can name a function whatever you want, insert word. And you have to give it the class, the class entity, like the word, this one. Because using this insert, you have to use the required word. And here, by default, this can return nothing like that, or it can return long. The long here represents the new ID was generated for this word. You can do it like that, or you can insert multiple things together. It's insert words, and you can simply write here like a list of words, like following. And here, simply, you have to return a list of long. Both can work. This is for the insert. Sometimes for the insert, let's say that you have duplicate primary keys. You have to tell the room how to handle this thing. We call it on conflict strategy. Here, if you press Control P, do on conflict parameter. Here there is on conflict strategy here, and if you can click on it, you will see abort, ignore, or replace. If it found the conflict, it will abort it, it will ignore it, or it will replace the previous entity. That's simple, just keep that in mind. Okay, I will just use replace here. And same thing for here. If you want to delete things, simply you have to do delete annotation, just name it suspendable function, remove word, and you have to give it the word and word like that. And you can also return along here. You can here remove word or remove multiple word with the same approach we used previously. Now there is insert, delete, there is an update if you want so. You can just copy that, just do an update here word. You can update multiple words or one single word. Let me do that. And just here, replace it with the update annotation. This update annotation will help us update it. Let me check how we can use it exactly. Well, here you can specify the entity. I didn't show you, but room can infer directly from the parameter. Now, the last one is the select all from. Now, there isn't something called select all or select something because this is flexible to the developer who can work on it. So what you have to do here is create a query. Like this is a handwritten query you have to write. It. So you just name it whatever you want with your function. Let me do suspend like that. And for example, get all words like following and make it return a list of words. That's the return type. But here you have to type the query correctly. So you have to do select something or all from word. As you can see this word, this word is the name of this database. By default, it makes like follow. If you change that, for example, table name to let's say word table, like the following, and go back here, this wouldn't work. And it will raise a compilation error. That's the beauty about it. Room will warn you in compilation time that the query isn't valid. Okay, so you have to change it here to word table, like the following. And basically from here, you can check, for example, where let's say that you can, well, the query is to get all word, but you can specify it like, get word starting with something or get word where, where the length has something and so on. You can see, for example, here we have only two things, ID and the word, where the word, for example, I don't know, equal something. We won't do that. This is just layer or the interface or the D data access object or the DL that we can use in order to manipulate and work with our entity. So we saw how we insert things, how we delete things, how we update things, and how to query things. Now there is advanced topics here also, as I said, but this is sufficient for most of the use cases. And before I forget, there is here in the update, there is also the same as on conflict strategy. 
So you have to update like on conflict whenever there is a conflict strategy, you can do something with that. That's also one flexibility that Room offers. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.